everybody and welcome to my video. Merry Christmas if it is December when you're watching this. Actually you could probably just say Merry Christmas at any time of the year if you really want it. <laughs> this is the third time I have started making this video so I'm really really praying right now that this is going to record. So enjoy! I'm going to try and get through it as quickly as I can because I watch these videos and I sometimes get a little bit bored and I sort of just skip along to try and see what there is. But if you like that, if you do get bored, I'm going to list them all below in the link thing section in the description box and you can have a look in there if you don't want to bother watching all of this. So I guess first I'll start with the designer stuff because it's kind of the more expensive stuff. So we have Louis Vuitton and we have... Tiffany, and we also have, oh, yes, Phew. when I say my mum bought me it, it's from my parents, so it's from my mum and my dad, but anyone, because it's usually mum that goes out and actually gets it, and dad just puts his name on the tag. I saw this, I really wanted the Chanel, um, just like the Ch Chanel double flap mini, I, I wouldn't know what skin, but it's like $4,000. So I decided that I would get them to buy me this one instead. So until my lifestyle sort of matches up to owning a Chanel bag, I'm not gonna buy one. This is gorgeous. So it's got the same quilting effect. It's got sort of the similar chain effect, but then it's got this massive guest logo at the front. And it's also got one at the side here. So it's got a bit of paper in, inside. Um, as all new bags do. Let's see, we've got a strap so I can put it over me like this. Whoops! Every year it is a tradition that my parents get me something from Tiffany's. I said Tiffany's, it's Tiffany, but oh well. Oh well. Uh, so it comes in a little bag like this, and then a little box like this, and then it's got the name on the front. And then inside you've got a little money bag looking thing and a little how to care bag card but my actual bracelet I've been wearing so I didn't bother putting it back in the box I just put it in here that probably looks criminal to some people just chucking it in the box I'm sorry it's like silver chain so it's not uh, elastic so it's really good quality and I'm not going to be scared to wear it and it's got a little tag here and then it's also got a little tag here like a little aquamarine Tiffany blue heart and then also the very famous return to Tiffany what does it say please return to Tiffany & Co New York it's a beautiful gift I'll probably always wear it are uh, these I got these earlier in the year, so they're kind of not new anymore to me, but it was an early Christmas present. Um, they're so cute. I thought the reflective was really in this year, so I got these. They probably don't even suit me, but the idea of them I really loved. Next section is going to be beauty, because I love it. Um, the lady really recommended at the store, uh, I'm on Rakuten, so I get like bad skin, I get oily bad skin, like it's just, it sucks. So I got this Kiehl's Blue Herbal Cleanser. Can't say I can smell it. That's because there's one of those. Mm. Mm. Oh, it got me in the eye, like really? Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah, it just smells, it just smells. Fresh. Then, this is my favourite. I got my mum to buy me another one of these for Christmas because it is my favourite. It's the Body Shop Chamomile Eye Makeup Remover and like Lipstick Remover. This stuff is amazing. It feels magnetic. Like when you wipe your eyes with it, it feels so soft and smooth. Like you don't feel like you're rubbing or drying your eyes. And it's, it works. It's so good. Oh, from England. Suitable for all skin types. Oh my gosh, it's raining outside and I just heard thunder and that freaked me out. So this is from Kiehl's. This stuff will make your skin as radiant as the bottle, okay? 
it smells vibrant. It smells as bright as how it claims to make your skin to be. Like it is just refreshing. I used to make my own face masks. I used to always add turmeric. Turmeric is kind of a cheat way when it comes to facial masks because even though they are so beneficial long term, like with the antibacterial uh, prospects? No. Pro antibacterial stuff. The antibacterial stuff in the turmeric is really good for your skin. But because of the yellowness of the turmeric, it actually dyes your skin a little bit. And that sounds scary, but it's not. Like, it's not a horrid, vibrant dye. It's like a glowy dye. And it's it evens out your skin tone, gets rid of a bit of redness, you know, brings out a glow. It's a beautiful thing to add to any mask. So even if you don't want to go out and buy, like, one of these ones, it is so hard to find a face mask that's got turmeric in it. So either go out and buy this or go buy some turmeric and mix it with Greek yogurt. And that is just an amazing face mask. Sorry, I kind of rambled on about a uh, kitchen herb. We've got some MAC lipsticks in Taupe and Whirl. So that was Taupe, this is Whirl. It's even darker, it's so nice. Work is not gonna know what hit them when I turn up in all my different MAC lipsticks. Where did that go? Then we have this, which is from Chanel. I really like makeup from Chanel and Dior. They do a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. So, I got this one and it's called 83 Illissoire and it is like a mauvey, purpley, glittery colour. Imagine that little thing just sat on their vanity, like it's just so pretty. I have a few things from them now and even though I don't display them, I always when I take them out, I always feel like it's special um, because it's just such a lovely design. It even comes with a little eyeshadow brush. So. It's just a really nice gift to get someone, I think. My mum went online because I asked for a, a bronzer and she went on Myers and she like went in bestsellers and this was the bestsellers. So she just put it in a basket not knowing anything about benefit and she didn't realise that it was a mini, like, a, like almost like a sample. It's like, how cute is that? I'm probably going to use it up very, very slowly because I'm just... I never finish a palette. I... Nail files, because I ran out of nail files. Gotta have your nail files. This is the New Tude eyeshadow palette from The Balm. I've already opened this. You would know how beautiful their shadows are. They are so pigmented. They are so glittery and shiny and long wearing and they are just beautiful colours. Hello. It's not, it, it kind of looks cheap I guess, but it's not. It's just designed like a little childish thing, I think. I don't know. I've got a bit of YouTuber stuff going on here. I told mum I needed like a little pouch, like a little cos cosmetic, cosmetic, cosmetic pouch because my Louis Vuitton bag is quite spacious and it doesn't have a lot of pockets. So I thought I should get something to put in there. And this is so cute. How cute is this? I just love the feel of it. Like I love holding it and like, this, it sounds weird, right? But it's just so nice. Like, it reminds me of my childhood a little bit. It's just so cute. I got the this bar. I love these. I could go through these in a day. Like, honestly, just chuck a, chuck a whole block in there. Oh, my God. It smells so good. I think this was her original uh, line. It honestly smells so good. Like, she's not lying. It smells. It smells really, really nice. I cannot wait to have other thing I forgot to mention is that I will be inserting a video of me opening this bag. My boyfriend bought me this and I cannot open it without him being here. <laughs>
Blush Bath Bombs. These are amazing. I got them in Lord of Misrule, which I've never tried, but it's like meant to be black pepper and patchouli. This one is my favourite. It's the mini pink. It's got flowers and then it explodes pink hearts. So that's really cute. And my all-time favourite, Frozen. That is such a cool bath bomb. It just turns the whole bath blue. Oh, who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want that? Two bottles of perfume. This is a like all-time favourite of mine. It's the Wonderstruck perfume by Taylor Swift. And just youthful. So if you want something classy but still sweet and youthful, this is a great perfume. It smells amazing. My dad did such a good job. Like this is gonna be my scent for the rest of the year. It's just so nice. I don't know how much this was, but it was just gorgeous. Like I can't explain. I'm gonna move on to jewelry now. So there is a gift that isn't here yet. It's a uh, in fact, I might have a photo of it. My boyfriend bought me a ring, not an engagement ring, just a ring, from Michael Hill. And what they do there is when a ring is getting resized, they give you the, the box, but then there's nothing in the box. So I have to go back and get it once it's resized. A sapphire and then diamonds around the, the sapphire. It is beautiful. And Google Kate Middleton's um, engagement ring. It's a mimic of that. Mum went to Pandora and she got me one of their rings from the new range and it is so beautiful. Like I am just so impressed with this. I cannot wait to wear this. Oh wait, I opened it the wrong way around. Will you marry me? <laughs> this is why I'm a female. Okay, it is so beautiful. It's from their new range. And, oh. oh yeah. You should have seen my face, like it lit up when I saw that. I was like, you're kidding. It is so pretty. There's a bit of a story behind this. Oh gosh, I'm not good at that, am I? I had a boyfriend once that gave me a heart necklace and it wasn't an expensive little thing, it was just like a sterling silver thing. And I always wore it. And then when we broke up, I put it away and I never got it out and I never wore it ever again. <laughs> but it was like a really nice necklace. Like I just always wore it. So my mum this year, without me even talking about it, she just took it upon herself to buy me a heart necklace. And it's white gold and real diamonds. And it is so beautiful. And I'm gonna have to come back again and show you. So that's the best I can do for you guys. Present that I got. So this is stunning. These are um, diamond white gold hoops from another jewelers. But they've actually put the diamonds, they've actually put the diamonds on the inside as well. Did I? Did I? Oh my gosh, did I? Oh my gosh, I've been out of focus this whole time. There's a present that's on its way and it's not here yet. It's the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. It's on its way, it's going to take another two weeks apparently. Apparently this is like the latest thing out. I don't follow hair things. I have a GHD and I know that's good and that's about it. I'm not really a um, a hair care person. I hurt myself. I'm sorry, let me just quickly show you again. So this is the hair dryer that I was just talking about that wasn't in focus. I'm obviously not very good at this and I'm so so sorry. This is my first time trying so you know. Anyways, this is it. And this is the mirror. And this is the bikini. <laughs> These are the pajamas from Bras and Things. Some 
workout gear from Lorna Jane. I do pole for fitness, so this is perfect for me to work out on the pole with because it's not covering my, um, like, there's contact points on the body when you do, like, pole fitness that basically keep you from falling to the floor. This is really cute though, it's got like a little, a little heart glued in on the inside, but Lorna Jane is, it's like a fitness gym workout clothes shop. They also got me this from Lorna Jane, and it's like a little gift pack, and it comes with a water bottle, socks, and a little sweat towel. So cute, hey! Then I got some pyjamas from Marks and Spencers from Friends in the UK. Also got another set of pyjamas from Friends in the UK. Then I got this top from French Connection. thought it was very Parisian. And I got this other top from French Connection. Mm. Then I got this dress from Topshop. And from Super Dry, I got a trench coat. But wait, there's more! This is like the recreational fun side of my gifts. I got this little photo frame of me with Samuel. He's my best friend. He's like my brother. And we recently went to his mum's 50th birthday party, which was a white party. And they had a photo booth and we took a photo and his mum got me this framed. So that was really sweet. Samuel, the guy in the photo, he got me this. Now, when I was a kid, I used to make little things out of clay all the time. And I noticed in the store the other day, they had this, like, how to make clay charms. And then it comes with the bracelet and the clay and you make your charms and then you put them in the oven and they bake so the clay hardens. And you make your own charm bracelet. And even though it's so childish and I just turned 20 yesterday, I thought this was so cute. So, I don't care. <laughs> Mum and Dad got me the new Vogue magazine. It comes with a t-shirt. My dad got me a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle and it's of Greece. I love jigsaw puzzles and I love the idea of going to Greece one day. So this was a perfect gift. Then I got a book. <laughs> this is The Alchemist, so it's a beautiful book, apparently. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited to read this because I'm quite a book lover. You make your own plant pot and then you put a plant or a candle in it. And a gift set. These are amazing if you want to give these to someone. This is from a place called Dusk. They do candle sets. So, I've got a candle a room spray, diffuser, candle, and candle melts as well. Three more things. A voucher to a salon for a spa pedicure. I have $50 um, in like a little gift pack. And I have a lotto scratch card. So maybe I will win big. Maybe I will win my Chanel lifestyle and you never know, I might get my back. <laughs> I'm so so grateful I can't believe how much stuff I got this year like I even got like two bouquets of flowers it's just been insane I am so appreciative and I hope this video gave you guys some ideas of what you might want to ask for for your birthday or maybe what you want to treat yourself for the next time you've got a bit of spare change in your pocket uh, next Christmas if you are running out of ideas of what you want or what you might get your friends then I hope this helped I'm kind of the girl that has everything, sadly, but if all else fails, buy them something that they already have that you know they'll run out of and will love to get again. Worse for me. really hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a very, very Merry Christmas, and I um, hope you enjoyed seeing the footage of my Louis Vuitton bag, because I'm excited. I haven't even looked in there yet. Mm. Bye!